Over the past 400 years, we have had a relatively peaceful and stable developmental path in this country. Barbados has, from time to time, experienced critical moments in its historical development. And it is to the credit of our people that we have masterfully overcome them thus far. These range from the effects of slavery and colonization to gaining independence and now global technological changes and the economic downturns. We can today reflect on the turmoil that is so prevalent across the world, which in many cases has resulted in civil unrest and atrocities created political and economic challenges and disruptions in the normal economic and social life of many countries and societies. As a developing nation whose progress is being impacted by these developments, our government, private sector and trade union leaders under the umbrella of the social partnership are being called upon to fashion appropriate responses to address these developments. The Congress of Trade Unions and Staff Associations of Barbados recognizes that at this juncture in our history, we face significant challenges in finding immediate answers or solutions to our social, economic, and fiscal problems. We in the Congress believe that some of the very principles of conservatism, tolerance, and passivity, which have guided our destiny thus far, may have sown the seeds of the apparent inertia which is being experienced, and which seems now to be stymieing our ability to engage in the deep fundamental changes that we need. We make bold to state this, because in our New Year's message two years ago, we, asser we asserted that our response as a nation to the myriad challenges that we face should be to embrace the concept of transformation in our nation. Barbados is yet to heed this call. As the representative of labor, we are conscious of the fact that our society is challenged to remain competitive within the global environment. As the economic pillars of our society wrestle to remain buoyant, it is for all of our leaders to assess the state of affairs and to work to ensure that there are definitive strategies to turn things around in the short and medium term. Barbados is geographically positioned with the requisite infrastructure and an educated and trainable workforce which makes it an ideal place for doing business. As we continue to look for solutions to the deep structural challenges facing our economy, Silusab advances the position that Barbados is right for embracing the concept and philosophy of private-public sector partnerships. Government must no longer be expected to carry the burden of economic development. Hence, the private sector is being challenged to emerge as a sector that drives our economic development for the foreseeable future. Our hope is that 2015 can be the year in which the long-awaited return to sustainable growth begins. Whether this is achieved will depend largely on the roadmap that the people of Barbados and their leaders design and pursue. Will it be too ambitious to hope that at this juncture, less partisanship will be exhibited in our political culture? Is it also too ambitious to expect that labor and the private sector would join forces in this nation building effort? With a new ethos which presupposes cooperation, one could anticipate that a greater number of Barbadians would find employment. As we work, to reposition Barbados to be more productive and competitive, our employers and employees are reminded 
that it is important to pay careful attention to our service culture. The promotion of service excellence must be seen as fundamental to building our business competitiveness. CITUSAB believes that together, government, the private sector, and labor can redevelop and maintain Barbados's competitive edge once employers understand and appreciate the importance of treating to employee engagement and workers commit to an improved work ethic. Finally, as we look to chart the way forward, CIDUSAB takes this opportunity to call for the harmonization of efforts while embracing the concept of competitiveness in all areas of national endeavor, be they cultural, sporting, or economic.